this is part one of a two part of our trip to Abu Dhabi where we visit the Sheikh Zahid Grand Mosque, Emirates Palace Mandarin Oriental, the Heritage Village, the Dates Market, and um, Abu Dhabi Marina and many more. So stay tuned again this is part one and we'll have part two next.
Okay, going inside of the mosque. Um, there are lots of rules that people have to adhere to, like the way we dress. As you see, women have to be modest and um, covering your ankles and also up to your, your wrists because um, that's part of the religious belief. Women have to be all covered up, so therefore, please do adhere by that. And also, um, cover your hair. Um, it has to be covered. Some people, they do have shops here that you can actually get um, like proper attires from. Because I know some people are not, they don't come prepared, so they don't know because they might not know or they might just not have those type of attires. But they do have um, um, shops that you can actually buy because they have tunnels underneath ground um, where you actually have to go through before you even come out here so therefore uh, and through those tunnels they do have shops so that you, you have plenty of places to purchase um, proper attire for male or female um, okay so I mean you don't necessarily have to dress like him but for the male but you still have to be covered up um, you can't come in here dressing with like tanks or wife beaters or something like that
So it is hot. When I tell you guys it's hot, it is hot. If you are going through menopause or something like that, um, I would advise you to wear something light, like super, super light, um, because it is, it's because we're here in August. So it is like 100, and mil 100 million <laughs> degrees right now. Um, and as you can see, I am literally sweating, 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 sweating. So I would say for anyone, especially women, because the men are not so bad. They could wear something very light. They're not covering their heads, so they'll be okay. But for the women, who are, we are covering ourselves up. So therefore, in August, I don't know how it's like the other days, but in, um, the other months, but in August, it is. When I tell you it is hot, it is hot. I am sweating like I'm going through menopause already. I'm not even there yet, but it feels like it right now. Um, they do have water fountain, but um, my phone got so overheated. So um, my phone got so overheated that um, I had to stop and I had to think because I had this water pouch that had cold water in it. So therefore I was able to um, put it like against it so that it will not, um, it would not just, I couldn't take, I could take pictures, I couldn't take videos. It, it says warning because it is really hot. So I couldn't do anything, so I had to wait. So I had to put it against it. So if you could bring something really, really cold so that you can um, put your phone on just in case, because all three of our phones um, ended up like that. So it gets super, super hot. Now, I don't even know what happened. So I'm not, I'm trying to tape and take pictures um, at different times so that I can give my phone time to cool down because we're here and it's probably about 11 a.m. Um, Dubai time so therefore it is it's hot it's and and it's just gonna get it hotter and what I have on is like it's a thick sweater I should have known better and put something lighter and I have I wrapped my hair plus I have this around me so that makes it double so nonetheless, I am literally burning hot. I have my trusty fan. I have my water, bring your water. Um, and I have um, just, I need, I need, and I, I have everything y'all because it's, it's hot. It's literally, it's hot. I am burning. But anywho, so there are many rules actually when you're here. When you taking pictures, you can't make any like signs, like the peace sign, and you can't when you take pictures. What if even if your husband and wife or if your friends or siblings, you can't touch, you can't like hug each other and take a picture. You can't. It's a lot of things. There's a lot of rules. So just before you come, please look them up because um, you know just to be respectful of where you are and what's going on, so that you don't. Um, do something that's you know you shouldn't do so um so we all had to adhere by the rules and everything else so but i'm going to i'm going to take more pictures and videos um on the other side i mean fyi you don't have to do the things that i do because i, I wrap my hair just because i know i was gonna get super hot but it's just gonna make me hotter anyway um but um but i see some people that just use just a regular scarf and just Throw, throw over them and they're fine uh, me it's just it's kind of like it's just what I was wearing for the day so anyway that's that
capturing time can vary of the actual mask depending how fast you walk or how long you, you stand there taking pictures or how long you last in certain areas but um, I would definitely advise you to um, bring water lots of cold water because in August when we went it is super crazy hot so I would say bring water because you're walking mostly outside unless you're going in where the prayer rooms are that's where they actually have AC other than that everywhere else it is super hot after touring they do provide transportation back to the beginning which is what we are on right now you see one just passed they provide the transportation back for us so anyone who is pregnant or have young children or the elderly or anyone who have issues walking especially in the heat of like june july and august they do provide transportation back it will take you back where we first came out um, when we took the escalator after we came out which take us right in front of the mosque it take you back there that way you can take the escalator back down and go through the tunnel that will take you back through the um, shopping area and into the garage so they will bring it this is where we came out the first time around so it will take you back there again Thank you.